Good morning. I'm absolutely delighted to be here in Florida um, to welcome you all to the annual symposium for ILSI Global. It's great to have people from all over the world, old friends and new friends. I'm Louise Dye. I'm, I have to get this right, um, I'm a professor at the University of Sheffield since the 1st of January, but I spent 30 years at the University of Leeds, so it's not rolling off my tongue just yet. And I'm here with my partner in crime, uh, Dr. Todd Abraham, who is the previous VP from Mondelez International and who's worked with me really closely and with a whole load of other people on the um, development of this conference today. Um, we have, so um, yeah, the, the speakers we have from all around the world the participants we have from all around the world. So I hope this will be a, a truly global meeting that we'll all learn something. The program is very varied um, and Todd will talk us through that in a moment. But first of all, what I wanted to do was to thank the organizing committee. Here we have the organizing committee. So yeah, thank you very much. You've all been great at pulling this together. Um, a group of academics and business people from around the world have taken part in pulling this amazing program of events together and we mustn't forget the ILSI staff who in the background always give their 110% to getting these events going. So I will hand over to Todd. Oh, thank you. So we do have a, a wonderful program, and I want to reiterate the thanks to the organizing committee, and especially to the staff who put in an incredible amount of work to get this all pulled together. It's been a long time since we've had this uh, group together, and we're very happy to be here in person to have the annual meeting this year. So the scientific sessions we're going to go through this year after a couple of keynote speeches this morning. Uh, we'll have a keynote speech this morning on cultivating scientific innovation, and then we will have a another keynote speech about the role of technology in improving nutrition, food safety, and food systems, both of which I'm very much looking forward to. And, and then we'll get into the scientific sessions. We'll spend some time talking about the deep space food challenges. Uh, we'll then get into a session on cultivated meat. We'll talk about advances in healthy aging, uh, clearly important to all of us, since none of us in this room are getting younger. So something that should feel close to home. We'll talk about artificial intelligence, uh, and those of us who are getting older need as much artificial intelligence as we can get. Um, and then we'll talk about food safety and nutrition and some of the current trends that we have and future trends that we're looking for that will help us both with glo global climate change and some of the sustainability initiatives, and then climate resistant soil management strategies, all very relevant topics for us today. Uh, we're not going to spend a lot of time uh, going through the CVs of the annual symposium speakers. You can find those with the QR codes on the back of your program, and please feel free to use that to get a link to the, to the bios, because we'd much rather hear from the speakers than about the speakers. And so we'll spend, some, uh, we'll spend our time listening to the speakers as opposed to talking about them. So we're very excited to kick this off. I'm going to let Louise introduce our first keynote speaker now. So just before I do that, what I wanted to say was that we, are, we have a, a huge engagement with ILC globally. Uh, around, at this meeting, there's around 100 participants, but about 5,000 were, were invited to have exclusive access to the recordings that we will make of the talks that you're going to hear today. And that period will be a kind of advanced access running till September this year. And then from October, those videos will be publicly accessible on ILSI's YouTube channel. What we've seen in the past with events is that um, around 30, over 33,000 people have watched those videos from our previous events in 2023. And we would expect with a program like this, even more engagement in 2024. Across our social media, we have over 7,000 followers. And so, it's really nice to know that the messages that you will give and you will hear today will extend way beyond the people sitting in this room. 